extending the vaccination program under pressure over new figures. Russia is now offering its own Sputnik V vaccine to frontline workers such as doctors and teachers over the age of 60, as well as to younger colleagues. According to data from the National Statistics Agency, around 26,000 people died due to the coronavirus in November alone. In response, the Deputy Prime Minister has said authorities have never hidden any data on COVID-19 mortality rates. In Portugal, this nurse was one of many health workers getting a COVID-19 jab at Lisbon's largest hospital. The country hopes to vaccinate nearly 10% of its population during the first phase. I think it's part of our civic duty to try to prevent the pandemic, as with measles and other viruses like influenza, that's it. In Spain, Monday's front pages were all about the start of the vaccine rollout, but Pfizer's postponed the delivery of a new batch by a day due to what the government's calling a logistics hurdle. Spain's health minister says vaccines will be available to the public on Tuesday morning and predicts 70 per cent of the population will have been immunized by the end of summer 2021. The main worry for people arriving at this ski resort in central Germany was getting stuck in the snow, not the coronavirus. But the national vaccination campaign is facing delays in several cities because temperature trackers showed hundreds of doses may not have been kept cold enough during transit. It comes as UK healthcare officials sound the alarm. Health authorities say there are now more COVID patients in hospitals in England than during the previous peak in April. The government says reopening schools in January will involve trade-offs with other restrictions. But its own scientific advisers have reportedly said any national lockdown in January would have to include all schools to prevent the virus spreading exponentially. And asked whether teachers will soon get the vaccine, Cabinet Minister Michael Gove was non-committal. That we prioritise those who are most vulnerable, uh, the eldest and those with other challenging conditions, and then we then make sure that the vaccine can uh, be distributed more broadly. The UK is hoping to get approval for a second vaccine developed by AstraZeneca this week, so it can start administering it early in the new year. But it knows that will only be part of the solution to a still-growing crisis. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.